Scott did not get a piece of it. An air ball. Scott no, 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 no. on the other side and misses. Lewis Lloyd. Wiggins. Mitchell Wiggins. Sampson trying to bring Kareem out again. Finds Wiggins with a short jump. That's where they should be getting their shots. Off picks the guards. Forget going one-on-one. -on -one. Double team on Kareem. And Magic, no foul call. They got a piece of the ball. Wiggins comes back. Hits again. Well, that's the thing that Elijah Wine will have to deal with a little bit better, is picking up the double when he puts it on the floor. Watch. He loses his concentration because he's putting it on the floor, and there's Magic doubling him. Houston gets the jump, and Mitchell Wiggins gets the basket. 7.45 remaining in the fourth period. The Rockets keep on holding the Lakers off, and they're up by 9, 93 to 84. Wiggins again. Timeout call. Two minutes and 47 seconds. Eight on the shot clock for the Rockets. They get it around. Wiggins, two-man game. Two seconds to go on the clock. Wiggins tips it in for Houston. Tough spot to put the rookie in, but he can handle it. Steve Harris, 19th pick out of Tulsa, and quickly fouling Mitchell Wiggins as Byron Scott with seven seconds to go. A big one. Don't foul him, guys. Make him inbound the ball. And that'll do it for Houston. 108 to 103. Stolen by Wiggins. You'll hear this place explode. But first, there'll be a foul with two seconds to go. A long time coming, Tommy. 14 losses in a row against the Lakers here at the summit. Well, Pitch is still talking to him about taking that shot too soon. This game would have been over already. The last time the Rockets beat the Lakers here was November 12, 1980. And Bill Fitch has finally done it. Now can look ahead to the playoffs. The Rockets will win 50 for the first time ever. The final score, 109-103. Houston wins it.